Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at the official Android 4.3 Jelly Bean update for the GT, the Galaxy Note 2, the LTE variant, the GTN 7105 or something. So I do have it over here. So let's take a quick little look at it. So new update, pretty awesome stuff. So if you first go into the settings area here, uh, go to about device. You'll be able to see there. Uh, it's the latest, uh, the wood, the wood, the good stuffs. Uh, so this is update is pretty nice. First, there's Galaxy Gear support, which is Samsung's uh, smartwatch, which has been sold like eight hundred thousand devices right now, or at least Samsung has been shipping that out, which is pretty much. Uh, you have trim support, so the whole like operating system in terms of speed should uh, definitely be quicker. And that's something that I have noticed, like when I open up stuff, it kind of feels pretty good. You just have to disable this first. I mean, look at that speed. That is some banana speed, okay? That's what you want. Uh, so that is pretty awesome in terms of speed. So let's take a look at some other things in here. Uh, some other new additions is that you do get the Samsung Wallet app. So if I go in here and I go to see where is it? Samsung Wallet. Wow, I'm being blind today. Samsung Knox, there we go. Do you have the Samsung Knox, which is one of those new apps that you do get? But where the fuck is Samsung Wallet? What? Where the fuck is it? I mean, it was when I updated the other phone. Maybe you have to download it or something on this specific device. But it was working perfectly on my other Note 2, which is not the 4G edition. Wow. Maybe it's here, but uh, I'm not seeing it. I can be like that. I can be a retard sometimes. Oh well. Uh, you have other stuff here as well, which is like better RAM man management. So if I go in here and check out the RAM, uh, let's just do a full clear. 43 applications, what the fuck? Uh, 644 megabytes. Which is uh, pretty awesome, I think. A uh, Galaxy S4 theme across the whole system with the, uh, if you go into apps like the settings app, you do have the same kind of tabbed interface here that you do get on the, uh, the S4. You do have a brand new lock screen here with more like that ripple effect, I think. Tweet that a little bit. They probably will click the watch, uh, tweet the watch as well a little bit here, and that you can have a custom message uh, on the on the lock screen. So you can change personal message here. At least I think that this wasn't available uh, before. There you go. Great stuff, I guess. Some other uh, additions here uh, is new GPU drivers, so way better performance uh, with the GPU, uh, higher score in terms of benchmarks and stuff, and probably will perform a little bit better in, in terms of various games. 
you do have a new keyboard uh, from what I've heard. So you can see the keyboard over here. Sweet. And what else? What else do we have in here? Uh, we do have new screen modes. So if we go into the display, we do have like professional photo and adapt display. I think that also could be a one a new addition here. So this one gives like different kind of tone to the UI. Okay, weird. Uh, some other additions here is that you do have Daydream feature. So if you go down here, Daydream, uh, when you are, I think it's when you're connecting your device to like charging it or something, you can have this little feature turned on. Either photos, photo frame, photo table, a uh, bunch of different stuff in there. Uh, you do have a driving mode, which I have tried to find, but uh, I, I couldn't really find it. You do have the new voice control, which I think is new here, uh, where you can um, basically have some features here that you can control, like camera, music, alarm, incoming calls, uh, every cool thing like that, which could be good. You have moved to SD card now, so you can move certain apps to the SD card. If you go into the app section, which I think is there, you go. You do have the move to SD card option in here. So I'm a, I, did, I did update from Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. I think I, Samsung skipped the uh, official 4.2 update and just made this 4.3 update. You do have a new uh, option here in the camera app as well, uh, which is this sound and shot uh, feature, uh, which is over here, which I think is when you're taking a picture and you can record sound to the picture up to uh, nine seconds. What up my homeboy, this is my iPhone 5, I like it, it's having iOS 6.4.3, all this good stuff. So you talk a little bit. What up my homeboy, this is my iPhone 5, I like it, it's having iOS 6.4.3, all this good stuff. Yeah, so that is sound and shot, and uh, I guess that's a new little feature should be from what I've read. And then we do have some new stuff in the notification center. I'm not really sure what, but some new features could be uh, something that we could have in here. Maybe you're seeing them. Uh, airplane mode here, smart stay, hands free. Smart stay could, maybe could be a new one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. And then we do have some other things. Which is also pretty nice about this update which is uh, you that yeah the tab interface all or went over that voice control all or went over that but some apps uh, like the calculator should have a new appearance and look to it sweet and uh, then we do have the clock app, which should also have a new interface. We have the clock here. We use the clock app in general. So the good stuff. And another little thing here is the contacts page, which should be edited.
Okay. Sweet. And uh, another little feature here is the gallery and the music app. I don't think we have different photos. Is that like a different picture? No, maybe not. Uh, but uh, the gallery, let's take a look at that probably. So you can see the gallery here and how it looks. Should probably have the the S4 design there, uh, and then and we do have the music app. Which let's see if I can find. They should really have a quick search page for apps in Android. I mean, they don't like have that from my experience. My files. There we go. So I never used this app, so I can't really tell what they have done. But if you use it, then it's pretty nice. You can also see that this app went into full screen mode now. And that is something that also is new with this update. And that is uh, new full screen Samsung apps. Uh, like the music app here. And we also have other apps that take advantage of that. Especially Samsung's own apps. Like their own... Uh, kind of internet browser here, uh, which is going in full screen, kind of, or is it? Maybe not. Maybe it's some apps. Yeah, uh, it, it, with Android four point three, it becomes full screen with Note three and like the S four, I think, uh, but not the Note two, and probably not the S three either. And you can see it still has like the old tab interface, which is a little bit disappointing. But uh, and then we do have the new S voice, which should be updated here uh, in Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. What up, my homeboy? I don't know if I can answer that properly. I can do a search for what up, homeboy. <laughs> uh, oh well, uh, if you want me to check out some specific things with this update, oh, that was pretty nice that you can quickly close it. I don't think that's been a well ball before. Uh, but overall, very, very nice update in terms of speed, and I do like it here on my Galaxy Note 2. So, uh, yeah, quickly look. Peace out.